Welcome to Royal Vibe. Nothing could have made him happier. Harry and William asked the Queen to bury the hatchet. Prince Harry and Prince William were yesterday advised to share the changes following the Queen's death. Prince William and Harry, hearing the news that the Queen was ill at home in Scotland, rushed to Balmoral the day before. Now that the Queen has died, royal experts have called on the siblings to end years of feuding. The Queen died the day before at her Scottish estate of Balmoral in Aberdeenshire, aged 96, as the royal family tried to help her, and Prince Harry and Prince William respectively fled to Scotland. Prince William, traveling with the Countess of Wessex and Prince Andrew, arrived at Balmoral an hour before his death was announced. Prince Harry flew in a private jet from Luton Airport to Aberdeen, but was already on the plane when he heard the news that his grandmother had died. The Duke also said he committed suicide while working at the palace. The Queen expressed her concern about the issues raised in an interview. Meghan recently warned in an interview with New York's Cut magazine that Prince Harry misled his father when he left the company. The Sussex couple met the royal family at the Queen's Platinum celebration in June, but details of their meeting have not been revealed. However, a royal expert said yesterday's news should resolve the conflict between the princes. Despite everything the Sussexes have said and done since their public engagement in March 2020, the Queen has insisted publicly and privately that Harry and Meghan remain beloved partners, Camilla Tamini said. Family. Nothing made him happier than letting his warring grandchildren share their differences during difficult times. The Queen met Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in June to celebrate their platinum anniversary. First they took him to a daughter, Lilibeth, who was nicknamed after him as a child. Tensions between the Sussexes and the royal family will continue to rise with the release of an e-book of Prince Harry's memoirs this winter. However, it is unclear whether it will be published so soon after the Queen's death. It is also debatable whether the Sussexes will receive the titles of prince and princess for the two children who are now the monarch's grandchildren. Prince Harry and his wife remain the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but Prince William and Catherine have become Duchesses of Cambridge and Cornwall and will eventually become Prince and Princess of Wales. Meghan dropped another bombshell minutes before the Queen's performance. Subscribe to Meghan Markle. Use your registration information to provide you with the content you have consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include our advertisements and third-party events based on our interests. You can cancel your subscription at any time. The Duchess of Sussex released episode one-third of her Spotify podcast archetypes this morning. In the episode, Meghan talks to American TV star Mindy Kaling about a unique stigma. It came as the Queen welcomed Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his successor, Liz Truss, shortly after winning the Conservative leadership primary. Meghan's previous two episodes have been a hot topic for the past two weeks, with only two episodes bringing major revelations. Meanwhile, the Duchess noted how a fireplace exploded in her son Archie's nursery during a trip to South Africa saying girls are stereotyped and misrepresented in the modern world. His candid insight into his life and work has earned him huge success with fans, topping Spotify's podcast charts for two weeks in a row.